All right, so number four, it asks us to find the length and the width of this rectangle. And you know that here that the area is defined by that quadratic equation of x squared plus 8x plus 15. This is the area. The area is defined by the length and the width. So the formula, right, is the area is equal to the length times the width. This means that this is the product and the product is equal to the factor times the factor. That, okay? We realize that the area of x squared plus 8x plus 15 is gonna be equal to something times something. This looks like to get from here to here, we do a process of factoring, okay? All right, so all we have to do is factor this. So we have x squared plus 8x plus 15. Okay, let's see if we can do our traditional method. All right, dash, plus, dash times dash is equal to 15, and dash plus dash is equal to 8. That looks like it's the number 5 and 3. Okay, and then we divide by the 1x, 1x, 1x. So the factors are as simple as x plus 5 and x plus 3. So this can be seen as the length and this can be seen as the width. All right, there you go. So to find the length and the width, all you have to do is actually factor the area. Okay, there you go. Here's B, you can try this. It's the same process. We know that the area is x squared plus 8x minus 20. To find the width and the length, all we have to do here is factor. All right, so let's factor this. We're gonna find two numbers here that multiplies to make negative 20. That here we notice will add up to eight. So in this case, it would be, I think, 1 and 20, no, 2 and 10, yes. All right, let's see which one's a negative. The negative is on the 2. Negative 2 times 10 is negative 20. Negative 2 plus 10 is 8. Then here we divide by that 1x. Those do not simplify, leaving you with an x minus 2 and x plus 10. All right, this can be seen as the length. And this can be seen as the width, All right? So there you go. That is how you find the length and the width given the area as a quadratic.